So you might want to make graphing systems of equations. Uh, you all know how to graph equations, but the other thing is we don't know what a system is. So a system is going to be, for us right now, it's going to be two equations. Basically, two lines, okay? We have two lines, and we're going to go ahead and graph them, okay? Graph system of equations. Uh, we're going to determine the number of solutions. Solutions, you will, we'll cover what that is right now. A system of linear equations has. Linear means a line like these. This is a system of linear equations. There's one line here, another line here. So we're going to determine how many uh, solutions it has. Solutions, guys, are going to be the answers. Well, yes, you are now. And solve the systems of linear equations by graphing. So if I look at this one, automatically, system, there's two equations. This first equation right here is y is equal to 3x plus 300, uh, y equal to 3x plus 600. This one here is y is equal to 15x. Right here is my solution. That means there's one solution. It's a point, point, I actually mean x and y value of intersection. Ooh, horrible. We have an intersection where they cross, okay? So let's come out here and jump into this real quick. So two equations form a system of equations. So copy that down real quick. Two equations. We're going to go with linear for this, right? But it could be in equations. But two, so two equations give me a system. Uh, they have at least one solution. You got that? Now, if it's to be consistent, it can have one solution, guys. Pay attention to this. Put solutions, number of solutions. All right, we'll cover right now. It can have one solution, infinite number of solutions, or no solution. So here's a picture of what they look like. Copy this part down real quick. One solution, infinite solutions, possible solutions, okay, to a system of linear equations. Okay, we don't even know about this part. Don't worry about this part, okay? But copy this part down for real, all this, and copy this here. Pause it right now and do that. I'm going to continue. So first you have exactly one, they cross once. There's one x and one. This is not showing you, but there's two lines here. One line here. And they rewrote it a sneaky way to look like something else, but it's the same line on top of it. Okay. And that means they intersect and have a whole infinite number of points together. Uh, no solution means these two lines are parallel and they do not touch each other. They do not cross each other. They do not intersect. Okay. Remember one intersection, infinite points, solution. I'll explain to you right now what this means. So I'm going to skip this one real quick. I'll talk to you real quick if you want. It says graph it. So these are already graphed for you. Just identify this one. Y is equal to negative 2x plus 3 to uh, this one right here, this green one, and x minus 5, and this one right here. Do they cross? Yes, they cross once. You got that? That's the answer for that one. They cross once. The coordinate, it doesn't cross at a good spot, but we'll figure that out later. Do these cross? Negative 2x, negative 2x here. And negative 2x plus 1, plus minus 5, and plus 3, and this one. Do they cross? No, they don't. FYI, look at the slopes. Since the slopes are the same, oh, I'm sorry, this one. Since the slopes are the same here, the green, they're going to keep that same distance, the same up and left pattern, and flash, they'll never get close to each other. Uh, let's practice these real quick. 2x plus 3 and negative 2x. I'll tell you, tell you this much. Since the slopes are different, they cross. Slopes are different, they cross. Okay? Let me see, come on here. Okay, here we go, 2x plus 3, the blue one. And negative 2x minus 5. And the blue one and the red one, they cross once. See how, you see it? 
That's one point of intersection. That'd be my answer. The answer, honestly, would be a negative two, negative one. That's my answer. Uh, this one, y, x minus 5, x minus 5 is the purple one. And negative 2x minus 5, negative 2 and the red. They cross right there. Purple one, red one. They cross there. My answer to the system would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. Well, you know what? 0, I'm going to write the answers, negative 5. That's the answer to that. Where do they cross? Here, where do these cross? The red one, right? And the green one, they, wait, 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 wait. Red and the other one. The answer for this one, wait, did I do that one wrong? Oh yeah, it's this one. Sorry, the blue one and the green one, they cross the ones here. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, three. My bad right now and I was explaining it, okay? So now they're going to say solve by graphing. Solving, guys, one method of solving a system of equations is to graph the equations carefully on the same coordinate grid and find the point of intersection. The point of the solution, the po sorry, the point is the solution of the system. Uh, the point, or this point. So this point is the solution. So graph each system and determine the number of solutions that it has. If it has a solution, name it. So. We weren't given this, okay? This is the type of question you get. So you're actually gonna have to graph it, see where they cross, then get your answer, okay? So let me explain to you what I mean. This is not given to you, but you need to know how to graph this. And so go up to 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Slope down of three, down one, two, three, over one, and then there's your line, okay? This blue one. Then you graph this one, down negative two, one, two, Slope of one, rise one, run one, rise one, one, one. So they're going to cross right here. Now, you better be good at this because look at that. Real, I don't even know what it's at, okay? Look what it says here. The graph appears to intersect at 3, 1. So now we're going to have to actually plug it in there and see if they match up. The 3, 1 work for this first equation. The 3, 1 work for the second equation. Well, what do you mean? See, this is an x value. This is a y value. Plug in my x value here to be what? 3. My y value here to be 1. Does it work out? Does it work? Do the work? Yes, it works. Check that. Now we're going to use that same point right here. Do the work for the second one. x to be 3, y to be 1. Do the work. Does it work out? Yes, it does. So guess what? 3, 1 is my solution. The solution is 3, 1. <clears throat> Let's look at this one real quick. So in this one right here, they gave us a system right here. Two equations. They're saying to graph it, guys. How do you graph this one here? You need to solve for y. Okay? You can't be lazy. Oh, I don't know what to do. No, you need to know how to do it already. This stuff, uh, I, I'm so confused, I can't think right now. Oh, no, you need to know how to do it. So we're going to have 2x minus y is equal to a negative 1. We're going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x. We're going to go negative y is equal to a negative 2x minus, oops, minus 1. We're going to multiply the whole thing by a negative 1. And we're going to get a y is equal to 2x plus 1. So there it is. I'm going to go to my y-intercept of 1. Slope of 2, rise 2 over 1. Draw my line through it. Draw my line through it. The next one, I'll do this one right here. 4x minus 2y equals to 6. I'm going to subtract 4x, subtract 4x. Negative 2y is equal to a negative 4x plus 6. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2 y is equal to 2x minus 3. So I come down to 3, negative 3, I'm sorry. And I do a slope of rise 2 over 1. Graph it. Look, guys, for every time I go over 1, it's going to go up 2. 1 over, up 2. Over 1, up 2. Are they ever going to cross? 
no. So that means no solution. You have any questions there? So let me go back here. Uh, it's going to ask you graph them. <clears throat> you better know. You better know how to graph them, right? If you can't, seriously, you're slacking off. Graph them. Y-intercept, slope from each point. They cross there. Double check that it works. Works. Here, slope. I don't see it. Why is it? I don't see it. Solve each one for y. Solve each one for y. Graphed it. Graphed it. I appear it appears to me that they don't go ahead and cross. Guys, do they have the same slope? Different y-intercepts. They're not going to cross. They have the same slope. They have the same rate of change from different starting points. And that's it. Okay, let's go and try these real quick, and then we'll call it quits for today. Again, read the words. Graph each system and determine what the number of solutions it has. If it has a solution, name it. If it has a solution, guys, it gives me, it says, hey, give me that X and give me that Y value that works. So this one, I don't want to graph it because I don't have it in Y equals MX plus B. So I'm going to put it in Y equals MX plus B. What I'm going to do here is minus X, minus X. Negative y is equal to a negative x plus 2. I'm going to multiply the whole thing by a negative 1 so I can get a positive y, and I have y is equal to a positive minus. So when I grab this one, <clears throat> when I grab this one right here, the top one right here, it's going to be what? Go down to 1, 2, up 1, over 1. Now I have my line something like that. Up 1, over 1, graphing is 0. For the second one now, I'm going to have 3y plus 2x equals 9. I'm going to minus 2x, kind of written weird. I have 3y is equal to a negative 2x plus 9. I'm going to divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. This gives me y is equal to a negative 2 thirds x plus 3. Now, this part right here, look at this. Different slope, guys. Automatically, they're going to cross. Once they have a different slope, they have a different rate of change. They're going to cross eventually somewhere in the world. I'm going to go up here. One, two, three. That's that one. Go down two. One, two. Over one, two, three. -ish. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. To me, they look like they cross right there. Now, let's do this math in our head. This is over one. This is over two. This is over three. All right, I went down how many here? Down two, down one, two, over three. So I'm gonna tell you this much. If you want to get really good at this, get your what? Graph your brand right now. Do it. Cool. Right, you're gonna be guessing like me. Oh, great. Does this work? Yes or no? Well, I have this point here, and I think that point is three, one. All right, so I'm gonna check if it works, and I need to check it into both. If not, it does cross. I need to find the right one that works. Let me get this first one. And I'm going to have what? Um, X minus Y is equal to 2. I'm going to put here 3 minus 1. Is that equal to 2? Check. It works out for that first one. I'm going to check the second one. 3Y plus 2X equals to 9. Uh, again, I'm going to put the 3 here. 7 to 3 times 3 plus 2 times 1 equals 9. This gives me what? Three. Oh, I did it wrong. One here. Three here. Yeah, X. Okay. So it becomes three plus six. Is that equal to nine? Check. My answer, my answer, my solution is three, one for this one. So boom. <clears throat> oh, it says number of solutions. It has one solution. Name it three one. Let's try this one over here. Oh, that first one, thank God, is already graphed for me. Right? It's already not graphing. It's already given to me to graph. I want to graph that one already. I'm gonna go down one, two, three. Down one, two, one, two, three, down one, two over one. My line goes through it, something like that. Get graph figure out, otherwise you will go crazy.
You know what? Let me change the class. I don't get confused. So I'm going to have 6x plus 3y is equal to a negative 9. Subtract 6x. Subtract 6x. So if you still, if you don't know why now, guys, I'm sorry. You need to be catching up. You need to come to tutoring. Do something. Um, divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Cancel out here. Y is equal to a 2x. Uh, minus three. Two X minus three. Let me double check everything. Double X minus six X minus six X. Ooh. Plus three Y. Divide by divide by divide by. Okay, let's double check all this again. I messed up. I know I did. I feel like I did. Minus six X minus six X nine here. Cool. Divide by three. Divide by three, divide by three. Now that works better. Y is equal to a negative two. X um, minus three. What in the world? Are these the same line? So I'm gonna have the same line, guys. Here, go down one, two, three. And then a negative 2x go down 1, 2 over 1. So it's basically the same line. How many solutions do I have? Infinite many solutions. Cha-ching! Bada bing. Everyone wants to go in twice? Okay, we're going to stop there.